Hey everyone, in this video, we're going to go through some of the best shortcuts in Microsoft Excel to help you get started in the new year. These shortcuts aren't going to be your typical shortcuts such as saving your files, copying and pasting data. These are going to be shortcuts that will change the way you use Excel. Before we get into it, make sure to hit the subscribe button to see more videos like this in the future. Our first shortcut is Control E, and this is how you can quickly use Flash Fill. Flash Fill is one of the best features that Excel has to offer and makes entering data very easy. In this example, let's say that we want to fill in the columns with blue headers, starting with the first name. So in this column here, I'm just going to first type in the first name of our employee. So in this case, John, then I'll press enter and then we'll use our shortcut control E. And just like that, we've extracted the employee's first name. Now let's do this again, but for the last name. So in this column here, I'll type in their last name and then press the enter key and then we'll use our shortcut control E and now we've successfully extracted the last name as well. We can also use flash fill to combine text too. So in this case I want to create some email addresses so I'm just going to type in the person's first name then a period then their last name and then we'll do at company.com then we'll press enter and then control E and now we've created email addresses for everyone at the company. Our next shortcut is going to be Control shift l which is a quick way to apply filters to our data set. Filtering is a great way to show relevant information while hiding the rest. So using the same data set, let's say that we want to show only employees with a performance rating of 5. All we have to do here is select one of the cells in our header row and then use our shortcut Control shift l and then we can instantly see the filters being applied. With one of our cells still selected in our header row, let's use a bonus shortcut, Alt and the down arrow key, and this will open up our filter options. Then from here, we can unselect the select all checkbox, and then check off this checkbox here for any performance rating of five. Then we'll click OK. And now we can filter only for the selected items. To get rid of the filters, I can just simply use the shortcut again, so Control shift l and that will get rid of the filters in our header row. Our next set of shortcuts is Control shift and any of the arrow keys, which is used to select multiple cells in a given direction. If we press the right arrow key, we can see that we're selecting one cell at a time. And now if we use the shortcut Control shift right we can see that multiple cells have now been selected. One thing to keep in mind when using this shortcut is that it allows you to select multiple non-empty cells. And what I mean by that is, let's go back to the start of this row, and if I was to use the shortcut Control shift right arrow key, it will select all the cells because each cell contains a value up until the last cell where the cell next over is empty. Here's another example. If I was to start here and use the same shortcut, Control shift right it stops here because the next cell over is empty. And this is not really a big deal because you can just use a shortcut again until you reach the end. This type of shortcut is useful for making wide sweeping changes like formatting data. So for example, let's format these salary and range bonus columns. So I'm just going to select two cells in these columns and then press control shift and the down arrow key. And then from here, I'm just going to format it so it looks like this. Our next shortcut is Control T, which converts a regular range of cells into a structured Excel table. To turn this range of cells into an Excel table, I'm first going to select a cell in our range and then use our shortcut Control T. This will bring a pop up that will first tell you what data the table will be based on, and it would also ask us if our data has headers. Our data at the moment does have headers, so we'll keep that box checked off, then click OK. So right away we can see a couple of things change. A table design tab now appears in the ribbon where we can see the name table1 shown. We can see that our data looks a bit different too, but we can change what's called the style from the menu options over here. So if we wanted to clear that, we could just click this option. And finally, we see that filters are automatically applied and we can use them exactly the way we did before. My favorite part of Excel tables though is structured references. Let's say that I want to group employees by high performing and standard, where high performing employees have performance ratings greater than or equal to 4. So in this cell here, I'm going to use the if function. And now check this out. 
When we want to reference the performance rating, we don't just get a cell referencing H2, we get a more specific reference, which I prefer because it makes reading formulas a lot easier. So from here, I'm going to do greater than or equal to 4, and then the value of true is high performer, and then the value if false is standard. So let's go ahead and press enter. And because we're using an Excel table, the formula automatically fills in for the rest of the rows. Our next shortcut is Alt H F D N S, which is how to access the go to special menu. We can use this shortcut to quickly find and select cells that contain specific types of data. First, I'll select the entire data set, and then we'll use our shortcut Alt H F D S. There are a ton of options to pick from here, with my favorites being blanks, formulas, and visible cells only. Let's say I want to highlight the cells that are currently blank. So here, I would just select the option here, and then click OK. Now that I have those cells selected, I can go ahead and highlight them, and we'll highlight them yellow. Now let's say that we want to fill in the blanks with a value like TBD. So let's enter TBD in one of the cells, and then we'll copy that with control C and then highlight our data set, use our shortcut Alt H F D S and then we'll select blanks, then OK. And then we'll paste with control V. And now we filled in the blank cells. Our last shortcut is Alt E S, which is how to access the paste special menu. Similar to go to special, there are many options to pick from with my favorites being values, formats, and operations. Let's say that I only want to have the performance grouping column only show values rather than formulas. First, I can select all of the cells and then use Control C to copy, and then we'll use our shortcut Alt E S, and then we'll select the values option here, and then click OK. And now we can see our formula go away and be replaced with the values instead. Now let's say we want to format the rest of these values as dates. So the first one is already formatted as a date, so we'll just copy that, and then we'll select the rest of the cells down here, and then use our shortcut Alt E S, and then we'll select Format, and then click OK. Now we formatted the rest of the values using that first value as a reference. Now lastly, let's say that everyone got a $10,000 bonus. Pretty street, right? So we can use this cell here that contains 10,000, and then we'll select all the cells in this bonus column. Then we'll use our shortcut Alt E S, and then we'll click Values, and then the operation Add. Then we'll click OK. And now we've just added $10,000 to the bonus column without using a single formula. And those are some of the best shortcuts to use in Microsoft Excel. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you all in the next video.